Hey everybody, welcome to Monday Mojo. This week's quote, I have found that among its other benefits, giving liberates the soul. That comes from Maya Angelou, who was born in 1928. She's an American female author and poet, best known for her autobiography, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Nothing strikes more fear in our hearts than a random act of violence. It's the first thing on the local news. It sells because it compels us by pushing our vulnerable, fearful buttons. But what about a random act of kindness? I'd actually argue that it's many, many times more powerful and compelling. Now, I'm not sure why I had this feeling come over me the other day, but I actually felt like committing a random act of kindness. I mean, I even posted it on Facebook so that I was fully engaged and told all my friends to stay tuned for the results. It actually dominated my thoughts for the entire morning and grew to the point where I actually jumped up off my desk and went looking for my victim. I decided to head towards my favorite lunch spot, which is actually run by a community of people that are self-sustaining and always doing for others. It seemed like the perfect venue to me. I could barely focus on ordering as I looked around for the great opportunity. That's when I noticed a cute elderly couple sitting behind me. To paint this scene properly, the decor of the restaurant is like that of a tree fort, something that you might actually find in an enchanted forest. All of the tables are hand carved from recycled wood, and the booths are actually private enclaves that you disappear into. Reminds me of the book The Hobbit. So, with a subtle turn of my head, I could only see the husband, who had this great old-fashioned pair of suspenders on. He and his wife were debating what to order. But what made the situation more compelling was the way he deferred to his wife, who in turn was thoughtful in her own consideration of what he might like. It was like this little amusing dance. There was something, though, in the conversation that led me to believe that financially, they were seriously considering the limits of what they could afford today. That's exactly when I locked in. I knew this was my chance. I decided to buy their lunch. Once the decision was made, I could barely eat my own lunch as the adrenaline started pumping through my body. I completely forgot all about my book that I had with me and began my plot. I waved the waitress over to my table and asked her to sit down as I held up the universal whisper sign, placing my finger against my mouth. Then I brought her in on this little gig, but I made it very clear that I was going to remain completely anonymous. You see, I've always been impressed by those that give anonymously, because it seems to transcend them and their needs. Many of us want to be recognized and loved so often, we give in a way to also self-fulfill. But is that really giving at its best? Certainly any unselfish act is commendable and encouraged, but how cool are those people that just do it undercover? So I continued to devour what was left on my plate so I could complete my task. I popped up from the table and went to the takeout counter to pay both bills. The staff was perfectly in sync and played it out like any other transaction. After I received my change, I actually almost ran out the front door so as to not to tempt myself and look back at the couple. As I hit the sidewalk, I had an adrenaline surge that gave me the chills and still does right now as I recall it. When I jumped into my car, the thoughts of that moment dominated my mind. Who were they? How long had they been together? Then suddenly, my eyes welled up and I felt all choked up. I'm not really sure why that happened, but maybe it was a pure connection to humanity in the moment. Maybe that's just what happens when you get over yourself and completely give yourself to someone else. But I have to say that that feeling was more intoxicating than anything else you could possibly indulge in. When I returned to the office, I couldn't wait to share the update on Facebook. I was like a little kid. And at the risk of that public exposure negating the essence of true anonymity, I still felt compelled to share the experience. Never before had I posted anything that received such an overwhelming response. Many people chimed in with their thoughts, which only made me realize what's really in people's hearts. These days it seems like everybody is selling something, and most of it we just don't need. It seems like life has become one big Ponzi scheme as we try to manipulate each other to get what we want. And that just feels like, I don't know, to me, a big game of musical chairs with the chairs rapidly disappearing. And where's that going to leave us anyway? The same week, I happened upon Stephen Covey's audiobook about the seven habits of highly effective people, where he talks about the three levels of maturity. 
dependence, independence, and more importantly, interdependence. That's exactly where we need to focus. The fact that we truly are interdependent. Maybe that's why it feels so good to give. Maybe we see our own struggles and needs in other people. Maybe that's why I cried. Now, I'm not suggesting that we all lay down our careers and go live off the land, but I am saying that we all have a need to care for each other. It's also not a guilt trip either. It's simply a fact of life and survival. There's no doubt we still need everybody to step up and do their part. This is certainly about meeting at the midpoint. But stop and consider your true position. I bet you'll agree you're wealthy in many ways other than how many nickels you have in the bank. So start sharing your gift, whatever it might be. And don't dare say you don't have any. Get inspired and help somebody without them even knowing about it. Because I promise you that you'll feel better than you ever have before. And you just might change your life in the process. Hey everybody, this is Danny Griffin thanking you for joining me on another Monday Mojo brought to you by FreeThinkingTools.com. Feel free to share this with your friends and family, post it on Facebook or wherever you, else you might like to do that. And we'll see you the next time here on FreeThinkingTools.com. Reminding you, think and thrive.